Astra and everybody. I am Parana from G3 Semester 1 of Faculty Education, Arts and Humanity. Today I'm going to summarize about the story under the title is The Century. So the story is about after grandpa dies, my grandma live alone in her big house. And at the, at the house stand on a high hill surrounded by a giant tree. She was old and she could not move around. And at that time, I and my family were talking about her and her house. And, and uh, it's about 20 miles between my house and her house. And we also plan to visit her. And then when we went to her house, uh, in front of the gate, we, we see everything is ready to fall and break. And uh, there was and uh, the oak trees. Uh, is near uh, her house and then pa knocked the door and called my, my uh, grandma's and grandma's let us go into the house and then pa asked grandma for planning to live close to us but she said she was born there she married and her seven children were born there so she could not leave the house but the finally she said if you all are afraid that i'm going to find that in the house, I will try to live with all of you. And then, uh, my grandma decided to live close to us. And uh, my parents prepare a room with her furniture. Okay, and uh, every day, she sat silently and looked through uh, the window at her house. As I said, uh, it's about 20 miles between mines and her house. So, uh, she, she, she could see each other. But there was an apple tree, so she, uh, she could not see it clearly. My grandma asked grandpa for cutting down the apple tree, but uh, my family did not agree with her problems. And after that, two days ago, uh, the apple tree has been uprooted by a white storm. So my papa said that we better took her back to her own house. My grandma loved her own house very much because uh, she has a lot of memory there. After that, uh, my parents took her back to her own house and then she told us that she would die in her house. And uh, then one day there was a terrible knife and uh, my grandma wanted her, us to leave the house. But unfortunately, she pinned into the floors underneath the beam with the oak trees. She was dead. We realized that she was dead. She, wo she dies where she wants to die, and uh, maybe the way she wanted to die. And in the end of the story, my father, uh, the oak tree that my father had told us before was dangerous and it had killed grandma. So in the end of the story, uh, the bird flew from uh, the hollow of the oak tree, sang a marvelous song for her. So uh, that's all from uh, my story. Thank you, lecturer and everybody.